Hello everyone, B-Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time, it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on. It's what it all comes down to. LeBron James is one of the greatest men if you're playing with the player of the Cavaliers. But his team, he now refuses to quit. He never really wants to give up. But now, his team really needs him for the Lakers. Yeah, they all say contracts are everywhere. But this was never been the fella that he ever won the finals since 2016 with the Cavaliers. But this all has to happen. Every other time, they give him what he wanted. Well, LeBron James, a definite word to make that one helpful, a moment. They really loved him. It's fantastic in the first half today. He got him off to a great start, and even with that, we were only down three at the half. Um, I think it's been the timely shots by their role players. Um, obviously, the, I think the KCP, the Michael Porter Jr., the Bruce Browns, um, even Jeff, you know, hit a, a big-time timely shot today, you know, when we were kind of going on a run. So um, I, I think it's been their supporting cast have kind of uh, made those timely shots um, that's, uh, you know, allow them to kind of have the edge. We'll be here all night. Two yeah. on one for the Nuggets. Brown, Caldwell, Polk with the lefty layup. You just get him open, just get him, get him the ball and get him open. Uh, and, and see, I think it's so cool to see when, when he, when, uh, he gets, when everybody's like, you just get him the ball and screen for him, do something, just make them make some kind of little mistake so he can go and work. It's always a rematchable. From Nuggets and Lakers, they've always been a tough team, but they never get around easily to make that win. The ultimate matchup in between Nikola Jokic and LeBron James, it's always tough. But no one may never know if there is a higher range than that. Western Conference Finals against the Lakers back in 09 as Jokic throws it up and in. Just his fifth field goal attempt. Murray fires away at three. It's good. Jamal Murray struggling all night, making some big buckets here in the fourth. Joker working from the nail. Tough fadeaway. Counted and won. Oh, the joke's on you, Los Angeles! I mean, I never, I never, I never doubted, doubted my team, and um, I know they're capable. You see, in the in in third, third quarter, KCP had a huge, huge one segment, like four minutes. Away. He had, a, he had a big box out on AD. He had a turn, he had a, a steal. He had a big three, two big threes, or one big three. So I mean, you know. We have some really good, really good players that can can step up in, in the right moment, and, and that's what we did. Lakers, Nuggets, next on 2K Sports. Hello guys, Fan here, and today is another matchup as we're about to be seeing for tonight's game. This time, we've got Denver Nuggets and Los Angeles Lakers back at Los Angeles. This is the next part of the game here in game number four, as we're about to be seeing what is going to go in between for the two range? Along with me, I have test tubes standing by here for the halftime show and the post game show. That's right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me in here. I really appreciate it to everyone who has been supporting for the biggest part of the game of the one and only of Anime Insanity. It's been very turned out very nice, actually. Keeping me great support out there just means a great uh, cast cruise. I think it's going to be really a fantastic. And Pride Month, can't wait to see what is happening with the next one. Yeah, me too. And right now at the game, we have this me phone along with Sun and Beast and OJ. It's along with their crew. We'll be back with the halftime show and the post game show here of game four of Lakers and Nuggets. See you all later after the first and second half. Let's get started. Guys, it's all yours. 
And as right now, we're about to be seeing the players in between the range of his own is between of the Lakers and the Nuggets. Ready for game number four, and we're about to be here here at Crypto.com Arena. Hello, everybody. Me, Son of Beast here and me, Phone. We're glad to be back with you with us. And right now, Ali LaForce on the sideline. Hey, Al. Jokic has transformed his conditioning. He said, when I first started playing back in Serbia, I couldn't do a push-up. And when I came here, I was probably the worst conditioned player in the league. I lost a lot of weight, and I feel much better. To be honest, I don't run faster, but I can play a lot longer. That's what matters, right? Yeah, it is turning out that great. Thank you, Alan. Well, this is game four. As right now, you've already seen that the Lakers have already made a win. This was the toughest part of the match. But now, they wanted to do this one again. Let's find out how they will do. The key matchups in between Nikola Jokic and Anthony Davis. Following along with Jamal Murray on the on D'Angelo Russell. And across from here we have his contagious Carwell Pope. He's also guarded here on with Aunt Austin Reeves. Then this LeBron James on Porter Jr. And finally Gordon on the other man position, Jared Vanderbilt. Yeah, oh yes, Jared Vanderbilt's ready for the takedown. They all say, L.A., you better be proud, because we're coming. The starting group is involving. Here's Davis on Jokic. Puts it over two. The first foul has been called on Nikola Jokic with 547 remaining in the first. He has his first personal foul. Now, there's no way to be out of joke. For this position, I guess not Anthony Davis would have just made out and he got a three rejections. Made a blocking out of here, and he just showed no cost. Of what he does. Yeah, I just say, Anthony Davis, he's already on a strong move. The muscle inbounding is just nothing, but you can get rid of him. Davis hits the first free throw. He's from back here with the, along with the team of University of Kentucky. He never really saw, when, when Jamal Murray was there, he just really made, made a relationship to go with each other. He says, man, you in my high school, my, my college routine. He never said that. Well, I may have been saying, it looks like that Anthony Davis might have to keep it on his own privately, but I don't know if that, if that helps, because they don't really seem to buy, follow us. I don't think they didn't really talk to any, each other. I, it's nothing that they really wanted to do. It, it's nothing that they really wanted to say is, I know Jamal Murray. They, they, they're not allowed to say that. I don't know why, why would they have to go with that, but they're going to have to like try to keep it over it. Aaron, Aaron Gordon has his first bucket down with the first two. And Michael Porter Jr. with the assists. Just tied up at the first start. Now here's Reeves on Carwell Pope. The screen on Davis. Putting a cross move at the angle. And Davis, Carwell Pope. And Davis slams down for two and a one hand dunk. He has his second bucket and Austin Reeves with the six. Now Gordon passes to Porter Jr. Porter Jr. passes to Murray. For the three, up range. The free pointer is right off the mark. Oh, he wasn't set to go at that point. That's going to be a hard one to take. And it's stolen by, by Porter Jr. He finds Murray. And the finish will pick up in the drive. With the Monday loss against Denver, it was that definitely clear that he just lost the game. He had no enforcement to just try to like leave it out. But the motion, just keep on going. Yeah, it's nothing but they say. All because of Denver Nuggets, they really wanted it. They wanted to try to enforce them. They just don't have enough third option to do it. And you know, this was a tough one to make a decision out of it. They were really keeping it out of here. But nothing can't just go wrong with you. You don't have a right to encouragement, you just gotta like make it quick. It's just a hard one to tell, but if there is nobody else around you, then you're going to have a tough time to get it. When Michael Porter Jr., he has the win here for 15 points, versus the Lakers, that was a 5 out of 6 range that he was able to do. What if this is static if he keeps it up here for the next part of the postseason before reaching into the playoffs to the finals? Well, I may have to say it's just quite an option. But I don't know if it may have happened to be enough at that time, but they were really trying to like keep it out of here. So hard, they didn't really want to like buy it over. I don't have anything else to say about it, but well, they might have to like keep it over. 
There's Austin Reeves, passes to Vanderbilt. Ball's loose, recovers it, and Vanderbilt will finish the drive. He has his first bucket of the game, and now it's a two-point lead. Murray tries again, and now it's Jokic finding again on Porter Jr. LeBron James trying to stop the pressure on him to take him out from scoring. Barwell Pope, Porter Jr., outside range from three. The leadoff, no good. And he's fouled. That goes to Jared Vanderbilt with the first personal. And their second team foul, first Viet foul, team foul calls on Los Angeles. 3 0 3 to go in the first period. When, no, when no, I gotta say, when Nikola Jokic is one of a Serbia player that was able to go with the Serbian team, it wasn't definitely the Serbian professional player. If it doesn't work for him, he would have the right call. I don't have anything else to say what Nikola Jokic can do, but in that case it happens, it might have just fall apart already because you know it's no, not going to be sealed together. Yeah, I've got to agree. And I have to admit, because they've really already been flowing it down. Not really everybody is going to keep on losing it, but the sometimes they get it, they don't have the right choice to do this. Jokic hits the second free throw. That's what they always say. You don't want to get away with that. Here's James, passes to Russell on Murray with under three minutes to go. Reeves on Carwell Pope with the spin. Looks for an inbound with a two. Rebounded up by Aaron Gordon. Now he will give it off to Carwell Pope and now will swing it over to Porter Jr. Now he gives it off to Jokic. Looks in the middle, Murray with a two. Back pass again to Jokic. Now again to Carwell Pope, and now Murray on the outside, down to seven on the shot clock. Carwell Pope trying to leave it out. Free for Murray. No good. And a rebound for Kazavius Carwell Pope, and he's fouled. Vanderbilt has a second personal, and their second team foul for Los Angeles. I don't know what to say, but this isn't what they were going to do. He is going really foul. All the fans are like nuts. They can't leave him out there. We're one behind. And Contavious Carwell Pope goes to the free throw line to shoot two. This will be his first trip at the free throw line for game four, as he will take it from here. He hits the first free throw for Contavious Carwell Pope. Now it's a new changes for Denver and for Los Angeles. As all five players are checked out, Contavious Carwell Pope moves his small forward. All the other players, and LeBron James stays in the small forward, four players checked out. Mohan Bama, Rhee Achimura, Dennis Schroeder, and Malik Beasley are checked in. Contavious Carwell Pope missed the second. Now he's up for it now. Beasley is on Brown. Trying to leave it open, and with a screen of Mohan Bama. The teardrop float in. What a nice move from Alec Beasley. That's where you know, finish it and dump. Two minutes to go in the first period of the game, and now it will be eight and not seven lead. Here's Brown. Brown pass to Green. Now, the outside for Contavious Carwell Poe. Missed the three-pointer on the range. He's not easily getting it over this. James for three. First three can't hit the mark for James as he missed the first three-pointer in game four. Now with the pass, stolen by James. Now here comes Schroeder. He wants to help from his team with the offense run to stop the run inbound. Bounce pass to James. Over with the shot. Two-pointers good for LeBron James. He finally has his first bucket down. And now Brown, on a fast break, shows who's boss. Now it goes back on the other way. And with the finish, two-hand jam. Well, I don't know what to do with Bruce Brown. If Bruce is on that single of a digit to try to, like, go with the attacker, I don't know what to tell you it is. They have no regrets in that. James on Carmel Pope now finds Hachimura. Over again to Dennis Schroeder, and now James on the outside. Passes to Hachimura. Hachimura again to James. James trying to look over with the offense run. 
and reach and foul has been picked on Carwell Pope. Now with a new changeup for the Nuggets as Carwell Pope checked out. Jeff Green moves over to small four and Najee and Ricky Jackson are checked in. Los Angeles lead by one. Beasley over Bruce Brown. It's good. Beasley has his second bucket of the night. They're always saying that Beasley, you have to finish your stuff and you got to do your own. Green back to Jackson and now Bruce Brown on the outside. Over again to Green. Green shoots over James. The teardrop player can't go in. Well, he's tough now because LeBron James is already that good. Can't just get rid of it because they've already been showing off like he did. Moham Fama! First bucket and a rebound, and he had his first two. Reggie Jackson on the outside. Bruce Brown on the cover. Jackson for the three. There are too many threes to make up and make up a shot, and he, they both missed one. He's stepping out of bounds. Dennis Schroeder turns the ball over to Denver Ball. With 2.1 seconds in the first period, 14-9 is your score. Try to go deep for Jackson. Hit off the rim. That ends the first quarter of the game. 14-9 is your score for the first period. We'll get to the second quarter when we come back after this. As we get to started here for the second quarter, a 14-9 start for the Lakers. Now, this is what they were saying. Since 2020, the Nuggets are trying to answer it in the back, but they never seem to get over this. How does this really turn out that they really want to get it done? Well, it's seemingly, honestly, but you can't expect it with what they were saying. All it does now is that they really didn't have it all. It's what the players do, not the rubbers. They get a lot of it and have a complicated time. They don't really want to get over this. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say about it because they can't really help it. I don't have any regressions of that. Michael Borough Jr. got a little slammed up here on Dennis Schroeder. Nope, Malik Beasley. But right now, Borough Jr. has his first personal foul. And Malik Beasley at the free throw line shooting too. Malik Beasley, I never see what he was doing it. Because it up with the layup drive, I mean, can't just get rid of it if you really wanted to take over. Since right now with the three and one score, the Celtics are on its way to finish the scoring trap. If they win tonight, if they win the next game, they will be heading down to the finals. Bob Beasley misses the first free throw. Now Jokic will check in for Nenaji back to the back to the four groups. Our players for the Los Angeles Lakers are making new changes, as now it will be checking back in for Austin Reeves. He only hits the first free throw. Jokic will swing it over to Murray. Murray around Reeves. Tough angle, but he misses. Oh, that's a great smart on defense. They were really are trying to like pick it up. Let him show you what he can get done. They really got to get this one over it and underway. What a block. Michael Porter Jr. really saw that one coming. Murray on the outside. Back again to Michael Porter Jr. Needs to look for screen. Aaron Gordon trying to able to answer one. And he makes his finishing drive with one hand. Michael Porter Jr. with his first bucket. They always say they can't get rid of what they were calling for Michael Porter Jr. But if you made that call right ahead, you know you would have gotten that right on you. Austin Reeves on Reggie Jackson with under five minutes to go. Reeves finds Pajimura. Down the four on the shot clock. Trying to answer in and the layup is scooped. Makes the two-pointer in. Now I have to solve. I have to tell that Hachimura wanted to do it. That's what he gets things done. And that was your mobile one drive for Hachimura. Ford Jr. back again to Jackson. Free for Jamal Murray. And they get it back with the rebound. Davis putting up his putting up his seventh rebound of the game. Trying to watch him with a two. 
went behind the backboard. Didn't really get it right, right enough timing to get it done. Oops, go to make that fix call. Murray fates it free. Doesn't want to hit that one as he gives off to Jokic. Jokic lost the top! Oh no! That back to back on the same! I thought he finished it right away! And another bounce calls for for Malik Beasley. And it will be Denver Ball. Reggie Jackson checked out. As now checking back in will be Isaiah Smith. Checking out one more block for Michael Porter Jr. If you get the call right away from him making the block angle, you would have the right one option to do on your own. Other players can't just really find you, but if you really get that one right away, you've got to get on your own. Porter Jr. Around again, and that will be an offensive interference on Aaron Gordon. Now we'll be changing to the Los Angeles Lakers. And now a new change up for the Denver Nuggets, as now Carwell Pope's checked in for Murray. Here's Russell. He feeds it to Achimura. Try to give it back to Russell. Russell back to Reeves. Try to put a single digit two. Davis for the look. And that's a good open shot. Austin Reeves with the with the assist. And now Smith will have one here. Takes it over to Jokic. Jokic over to get a Michael Porter Jr. Over with the two. Oh, it didn't get it in time with the block, but Michael Porter Jr. got lucky. Well, if the lucky made to that credit, they were going to give him a count book and one. Well, not a goaltending this time. I don't know why. Jokic had a rebound here and timing after D'Angelo misses the shot. We're down to three minutes in the first half of the period, and Jokic will have it back again to Carmel Pope over now to Smith. Smith finds Porter Jr. Ford Jr. swings over to Contavious Carwell Pope. Try for the three. Another miss by Denver Nuggets. Racing to the offense side and Russell. Step back over Jokic. Good two pointer out for the range. Timeout called by Denver Nuggets. I'm going to say if the Lakers are a good team, better than the Nuggets, they're going to sweep them out. Timeout called by Denver Nuggets with only 2.35 remaining. They are really starting to give up already in the first half, but they can't lose focus here in the second half if they have an answer back. Well, as you always have to tell, this really reasons it that they really do not want to get uncomfortable doing it again. And they really can't just make a loan out of it because they really are starting to go underneath the circumstances. That really has to sell what they put them up a long way to go. That's what they have to do. They've got to get Prudis and get it done. The NBA playoffs, uh, NBA Western Conference Finals of 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Adidas. And by Mountain Dew. Do the do. Coming up will be the halftime report. As right now, there will be more to get this thing underway as we see the first half between a fan and test two. That will be coming up after the first half is over. Now, here's Carwell Pope. Just across the brink. Set and pick screen, now finds Smith. Goes into the two, and will finish up with a scoop and drive for, for Isaiah Smith. First bucket of the night, 2.15 to go. Now Schroeder, he will give it off to LeBron James, covered up by KCP. Schroeder on Smith. Try to dish off to Reeves. Watching here, Dennis Schroeder, screen on Davis. Two minutes remaining, and Schroeder finishes the drive. You've got a good open look out there. And yet, they were saying it is that clear. You've got to give room to that guy. Green. Give it back again to Smith. Free again for Carmel Pope. Got it. He finally has an answer back. And he finally got a free pointer. 
Well, it's nothing but they always have to say because they were really up to authentic of this one. KCP really has to go for a look range. They can't but notice, they can't notice that they were wanting to get right into this. James fades a three. Five on the shot clock. Trying to go for the two. It's holded by Smith. Smith has his second rebound of the night, and now we'll give off to Carwell Pope. And Smith on the outside. Carwell Pope right on the outside of it. Trying to make a move in, in between. Up and over head pass to Jeff Green. Around shooter and good. Jeff Green is his first bucket. They're down by three. Keep that one alive out there because Jeff Green really has to settle that down to go for the heads up. Ball almost went loose. Austin Reeves on Brown. Down to eight on the shot clock. The screen for Davis. Is he up? And Ali oops success run. That was an open, excellent run for Austin Reeves. He's good. I mean, he makes up with an open pass out there. Give out, the, give out one if you can. Green try to go right around it, and Smith for the three. That way from the baseline is good. Smith, and you're down by two. Keep that one in mind. If Smith does it again, he might have to give that one up in room to this one. James! Oh, man, a little bit dirty on that one. And he says, back up, Green. I have it all. Yeah, man, don't be that fool if you're going to act like me. Contavious Carwell Pope. Oh, wow. He has his second three-pointer of the night. They want to make this one a close game. James are out court. Off the rim it goes. That ends the first half. A 27-26 lead for Lakers. We'll get the second half ready when we come back after this. Halftime is now on the board. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And this is where we get things started with Test 2 of the Lakers and the Nuggets. Let's find out how they do. It's a great start for Tina Lakers as they already made up in a lead. But for the Nuggets, they're trying to sweep them back in here to come to a close game. A 27-26 run. Let's start with you, Test 2, for the Lakers. Well, LeBron James is at it right now. Their next, their next regulation is really trying to be a lot that cruel. They're going to need to regulate the game. They have to do this one before they head back to mile high. Now back to you, fan, for your take for Denver Nuggets. Well, they're seemingly are getting this thing right over into inbounding. Their technical runs are just not the only thing that they wanted to do. If they wanted to keep that one in there, then they're going to have to keep on firing it out. And that's a wrap. Time to send you down to Crypto.com Arena for the start of the second half. See you later, all. Welcome back to Crypto.com Arena. We're about to start the third quarter. It's a close game and you're ever going to experience it. But you call for Anthony Davis, AD for short. He does have it all for the center of it. Yeah, I expected that Anthony Davis was really that impressed. But they really say that he never was got a block at that point. I don't know why they're making this one do this again, but it's just really not that choice enough to make the option. Yeah, it's nothing that I really care for, but if you always say that Anthony Davis is that strong, he knows his center guard can do it. James spins around Smith. Denver trailing by three. Porter Jr. with the run. And Murray doing again. No, he missed another three-pointer. They always keep messing it up. Don't even try to waste your time. Davis didn't make the free two-pointer at this moment. And Porter Jr. wanted to help him out. But he gives a back pass to Jokic. Back to Porter Jr. Smith on the outside of a run. And Jamal Murray needs to get this back in the game. Porter Jr. for the tie. It's good. Michael Porter Jr. had that three-pointer coming down along. And Smith with the assist. 
Oh, what a Yampy saying now, Michael Porter Jr. He fixes it, dresses it up, practice to get ready for the second half, and good to go. James missed the two pointer, and Smith will carry over again to Porter Jr. Now, Murray gives off to Jokic around Davis and uses it the right hand to make the drive. He reaches it right away. It's just very that call. It just how that one is. The Joker can't mess it up anyway. For the foul on this relation, another timeout has been called by Los Angeles. They need to dump things over before they can get back on the court. Well, they really got off to a stumble humble start here for Denver Nuggets. But it looks like the Lakers really need to go with a different chain of the offense that they might need to do it. I don't know why they have to just stop the clock out there, but they really don't have anybody else to like cover them. If they really need to get over this, then they got to get that back in the run. The offense is not a joke. They really have to do this again. Because everybody else is like running around like that. They have nowhere to go. They gotta like keep on pushing it and get it done. Now, yeah, I would have just expected it because they really done that offense really well. And this is very really that tough. Nobody has ever heard of it or what is happening because they really did not expect it. What is hap up with the team that they were ever able to expect it. I don't know what's the point of it, but they may not be able to just do it is try to like leave them out, get over this, get under it. That's nowhere to get very right into a confirmation to get right into this. And a new substitution is being named out. Now getting ready for the next one. Here's James. He will dish off to Beasley. Now Porter Jr. is on James. He dishes off to Russell for three. In the lead, no good. Now it's now it's Porter Jr. after Jokic is on his way. Porter Jr. has his first rebound of the night, and now Jokic up again, using a reverse scoop drive to finish the layup. And Porter Jr. with the assist. Yeah, that's a good communication out there. That might be a tough left to be on the light up. That's when you light things up in your brain, and it helps you work through it. Jokic makes another rebound, and another miss by Los Angeles. Porter Jr. finds Smith. Smith! He does the same thing, just like Jokic does. He says, that was the thing I was going to do. You did the same thing like they did. And he said, yo, I, I'm doing it the same thing like you. He said, I think I could do better than that. Well, I don't know if it is, but there's no exact number of tough competitions to make the layup drives in the verse. It's tough. But don't be out there like you never made it. Denver lead by four. Porter Jr. back to Smith. Rolls it over and he's fouled. Murray Hachimura with the first personal. And a first team foul calls for Los Angeles. Another free throw is off and ready to do it again. As right now, Smith is on a free throw line shooting two. They have really try to get over this one. Nobody really says that. Why is nobody getting a foul call and nobody trying to like keep the offense right away? They're like awakening. They really don't have much time to like get right into this. Smith missed the first free throw. And he misses the second free throw. Oh, he's going to have a terrible timing. I don't know what happens because they don't have anybody. The free throw is missed. Two-pointer miss. And now Gordon back to Murray. Murray now swings off to Jokic. Jokic swings off to Gordon Jr. With the bounce pass to Gordon. With the layup, and he's fouled. He would have that block, but unfortunately, Molly Feasley had a foul. Oh, uh, not a good sign now. I don't know what to say. Gary Gordon was looking at the bucket. He was looking at the rim, but he was deflecting it. I don't know if this would be called a foul or if it would have been a block to make it clean. But he should have done that before, before it gets right into this. Aaron Gordon at the free throw line decided to do it again. 
He had enough missing the two quarters like Smith does. He wants it back. He missed the first free throw. Jokic is checked out. And right now, Najee and Reggie Jackson checking in for Smith. Now, when I say they can't just leave it open, they can't be they can't shoot it correctly. We don't want that one to get in everybody's way. That will be outruled. He makes the second free throw. Los Angeles trailing by five. D'Angelo Russell finds again to LeBron James on Michael Porter Jr. With the sidestep, finds Beasley and James back on Porter Jr. Screen on D'Angelo Russell. And it's rejected by Porter Jr. Oh, he says, why would you ever just do this? And this is my take. I've got it all. What a good rejection for Porter Jr. And different camera angle. Well, I would never clear that. How would you ever just say that he was already been slowing down a bit? They are all over this. New substitutions change as right now Jamal Murray is checked out. He's a little bit cold already because he may not be getting enough to do this one again. And right now Beasley is checked in. We've along with Dennis Schroeder. D'Angelo Russell, near the baseline. Aaron's in and out. Carwell Pope on a fast motion to Najee. And Najee will finish the drive. That will be Bruce Brown's assist. Sorry, Davis Carwell Pope with the assist. Now here's Russell, covered up by Bruce Brown. Looks over to Dennis Schroeder. Screen on Mahan Bama. Rejects it. Ramba, Hachimura trying to step up at the two. Rolling it out. Oh, Jackson got it. But now he's fouled. That will be his first personal. And another team foul for Mile High. Nothing but you can't just do this. If you are going to try to like go for the foul, go for the blocking call for the shot, you just do not want to get over this. You've got to like try to stay out of here. You don't want to like get over this, you don't want to get under us. It's going to be a very tough one that everybody keeps on shooting. And nobody may have that right call if you're going to get it. That's going to be a hard one to carry on. Schroeder missed the first free throw. Now with the new substitution all change, as right now, Green's checked in for Reggie Jackson. And he hits the second free throw. 38 32 to score. Down to two minutes left in the third. Brown finds Porter Jr. On a quick outside look over to Green. Green off to Carwell Pope. Around the man. The offense got him tracked up. Mohan Bama with the rebound. Schroeder finds Russell. Russell trying to make a move out in front of it. With a two, up and a range, good. He has that first two pointer, now keeps on continuing to score again. Pass it down 90 seconds. Four Jr. Up at the two, releases it, and that's a little bit tough that he has made. Michael Bohr Jr. receiving seven points in the game. Timeout called by Los Angeles with a minute and 16 to go. They are trailing by six. If you have your tickets down, tickets with you, get ready because this first show is happening at the Sabian Media Center. That will be the first location that you will be seeing right towards the front of the main door. It's because nobody says that, what Sabian Media Center? It's because nobody wants to know they already have that one out there. It's tough, and everybody knows. Well, because everybody's saying that Saving part of a media center is what the first location is going to be 
So if you're ready for this one, I know you are. And if you're in New York, we also have another beer. The new location, Gerald W. Lynch Beer, happening in New York City. Well, outside of the city, of course. And there might be one way that they can try to like keep it right toward them. And you may say, what can you do? Well, uh, I, I, I definitely want to give that one a call. I think there is one way that they can definitely try to do it for another. And when they are ready, they will enjoy it like you ever experienced it before. I'm pretty really excited to see what's going on. So, yeah, it's going to be our time to make the moment of live on. Yep, we're really excited to see what's going to be next. So, so I think we're all ready for this one. We're ready. Hachimura on Porter Jr. Davis got a good reverse drive. We're down to one minute left to remain in the third quarter. Now he passed to Porter Jr. Porter Jr. Over to Cretaneous Carwell Pope. Carwell Pope decided not to take the three. And Porter Jr. for three. And he wants to give it to him. I don't know what everybody is complaining about. Why is he that good? Well, he, he makes that three. Everybody's all around him. Austin Reeves up at the two. It's good. Number two pointer makes for Austin Reeves. And they're just catching their way with the breath mark. Oh, can't just hit Bullen now. They're really up to it. And they are just playing on, on the roll. Bruce Brown in the middle. And feed it off from here. Bruce Brown recovering here with the second bucket. And now Schroeder goes right around Bruce Brown with 20 seconds. Trying to go with a step back and two. Schroeder backs it up. 10 on the shot clock. 10 seconds on the game clock. And he's fouled. That's Thomas Brent with his first personal and his second team foul for Denver Nuggets. Oh, they can't just go with, with level team foul they called for. This release bit is getting a little bit harder than they are going for. Not everybody's really up for this challenge, but they always have to be. First free throw coming up here for Anthony Davis with 7.1 seconds to go. They're trying to make that one helpful. Free throw makes it in for Anthony Davis. AD for Association. I don't know what everybody says, but, uh, well, I guess there might be one way I can try to keep it for good. And another way, maybe AD can definitely be the next defensive player of the year. He hits the second free throw. Just down to five seconds. Bruce Brown, for Jr. for the deep three. Misses the target. So that concludes three quarters, but we are down to the final quarter in game four. Will it be the Nuggets to win or Lakers to tie the series up? One way, go with the other one. That's what they wanted to do. We'll be right back with the final quarter. You're watching the NBA Western Conference on 2K Sports. And with the courtesy of the replay, let's have a look at the state farm assist of the game. Now I know what you're all counting for because they give it off to Najee. And the other player was giving it off to him and they say, it's all what Najee does. They really keep it up with the good flow. Neither they do. They like a lot of encouragement. But they can't just say that you've always got a good company by the player. you definitely got a good teammate. Russell starts with the fourth quarter to win up a one-hand dunk. And they're down by three. Jokic finds Carwell Pope. Carwell Pope around James, and he got it. James receiving another rebounding. And now here comes Russell. He's denied by Jamal Murray. Up and overhead pass to Davis. Spin around with the two. Hey, go! It fell down by one. Murray over now to Aaron Gordon. Now Brown trying to make a move on it. And Gordon pass back to Carwell Pope. Now swings off to Brown. 
Brown swings off to Jokic. Around Davis and good to count the fucking one. That's right now Anthony Davis has his first foul and another team foul with calls on Los Angeles. Oh man, I don't know what to do with this one here, guys. But they, they really can't just say that Anthony Davis was like he was gonna try to block it. It looks like he's not really well enough. I don't know what in the world does everybody have to go with. They gotta say it's no one saw that one coming. He's got to get that one a block. He knows he does that. That's what everybody was saying there before. That's because nobody wants to, like, get rid of it. He already had that block. He's better defenseman if he does. Free throw misses. James. Takes her here. Russell on Murray. For the drive, he's fouled. Nikola Jokic with his second personal foul. And he didn't make the free throw right away, but now D'Angelo Russell's turn to hit off the target. The target slope, it's not really what everyone's saying it, but they really can't just say, you gotta like keep it together with you. They're already been showing it out of here like they never really wanted to call for. And that's what nobody can't do. That's what everybody has done it for most of the time. D'Angelo Russell missed the first free throw. Mmm. This might be a little stumble up again if D'Angelo Russell could just try one over and over again. Russell is good for the free throw line for, for one. Here's Jokic. Gives off to Aaron Gordon. The day you start with a poke, right back again to Aaron Gordon. Oh! Got it that time! And Eric Gordon has his, has his second bucket in. Had now five points. They really noticed that Eric Gordon getting there definitely arranged that one. They really got to a great, a tremendous run. Give it off to Cam. And he's out of bounds. The ball went right near the baseline, and now we'll change it over to Denver Ball. Denver, lead by four. Jokic. And pass going up. Here comes James. Going to slam it. Didn't want to take it from here, but he wants to do the two instead. He got him with the looking, and he says, get out of here. It's mine. And good D by Austin Reeves and Mohan Bama. I don't know if it was Mohan Bama or Jared Vanderbilt. I wanted really to just go with the, go with the other different planet. Rebound again by Jokic. By James. Now Reese has the outside covered up. Screen on Vanderbilt with the spin and blocked. What a stop by Gadigas Carwell Pope. Here's Jamal Murray up at the three. He misses again. He's gone cold right now. Uh oh. Jamal Murray not so good. Austin Reese with a fake shot. Mamba for the two. Misses up at the target. Off the rim. And Brown goes back to Contavious Carvalho Pope. Jokic swings off to Bruce Brown. Helps Jokic with the screen. Up to Jokic. Oh man. And James sends it back. Carvalho Pope for the three. Misses. And Gordon misses again. They are just coming back down to it, says, it's showtime. And Boma says that. Oh, that's showtime, however it is. I think the Lakers are going to come back to tie the game. The time has been called by Denver Nuggets with 49 and 49. They're trying to get it back on a run. And stay tuned, we got game three and four for the Stanley Cup playoffs of the conference finals. We've got the Bruins and the and the Hurricanes at PNC Arena in Carolina. Following along with the next game, it will be the Kraken at their home game in Climate Pledge to face against Avalanche of Colorado. They never showed it off because this their team have a tie game. Both teams from both conference tied the game up by one. Well, they really are starting to go under it. And there is nothing else to say is they really got to like confident on their own. I don't know what they were saying, but they were really not that bad to try to leave it out. 
But this branch really does stand out. They just can't just go with the with their remarkable one. They really kept on going there. Fine and not just a lot of hardness on the, on the pickup stuff, but they're not really old. Some new changes for the Lakers and Nuggets. Now we present the New Balance Player of the Game for Game 4, Jamal Murray. Well, just only two pointers, however, but I'm surprised. He never really got that with a, a long range of a point and got him to get the lead. They really are all for it. And they never really can't care about it because they were really that tough. And strong at encouragement, doesn't have it all. Murray trying to get the three, and he still has no three pointers to a big advantage. Well, everybody's nobody pretty on the offense. They're already been covered up by a defender. Nice D by Jamal Murray. And Michael Porter Jr. will take its way. Finds Gordon. Contavious Carmel Pope, but he got it down. Carmel Pope with the two-point one-hand jam, and Porter Jr. with the assist. Lakers needs to call their, their second to last timeout with 2.15 to go. They're losing a lot of them. They're really up to a fence. They can't just get over this. Now they're trying to make that one pay for it. 51 to 49. Good pass off for Carmel Pope to slam it down. All say now, KCP stands the shot. Now for the new changeups, as right now the both teams are making new changes on offense and defense. And yes, Anthony Davis is back right here on the court. Now D'Angelo Russell's on Murray. Vanderbilt around Gordon. Up with the two. The tie it. No. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And they still got to get it back. Well, if they don't have the right encouragement, then they're not going to be able to make this one a professional to make the team and try to stand it out. They're really having a hard time out there. They can't lose it. Carmel Poe around Davis and gets knocked out. Davis has, their, has his ball away. Now back to D'Angelo Russell. James trying to hit it up with the three. Wanted to take the lead. The screen for Austin Reeves. For the tie! Misses again! Jokic on his way down to Porter Jr. He finds Gordon. Around it. Good stop by Jared Vanderbilt. Oh, their defense is running around. They better do this. Austin Reeves wanted to give it off to Vanderbilt to tie the game. And still can't get it there. Well, they're having a hard time. I don't know what to say about this, but they should not let it go with the back, the back switches. That's a hard one to try to like to keep them out of here. Murray passes to Porter Jr. And over again to Corbell Poot. For a three, Murray! Rebound! Takes it away! Blocked by James! He's the king! Stay away from him! You can't leave him behind. James for the tie, and he lost it. That last touch comes up here for Aaron Gordon to deflect it. They will use their final timeout for the Los Angeles Lakers for up with under 30 seconds. That's because they wanted to do with the timeout. They, they have under 30 seconds. They still have a lot of time, but right now they don't have it anymore because they already wasted their timeouts already. The NBA East Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, in moment and Spiders. AT&T 5G, fast, reliable, and secure. Airby, State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. This is tough than you ever think. Because they were really that, that close to getting a win. They really are stepping along. Since back for the regular season, they always count on the Lakers to put up a win over Denver Nuggets. Yeah, but mile high, it's really that impossible. But don't be offensive on that one. I really can't just tell that the Lakers really had a hard time with like trying to like push it and bound it. 
They really are stepping their way along. Well, there might be one way if they can win it. If they can do it, they're going to get it done. Here we go. Austin Reese into two. And he messed it up. He just went right to the baseline and he did not really get it off. Well, he didn't have enough room to like put a, well, like a little spin move out there. This is a rough night for them. Unbelievable. LeBron James calls his foul and just one foul to get. Murray near the midcourt and he's fouled. D'Angelo Russell has his first pair of foul and now they're at the free throw line shooting two. Murray has to get another two pointer to, to make the extension run come up by four. Murray is the first free throw. They always can't just tell because the point guard really never gets the thing right away. Not on a hot set, but he's already in a cool point guard position. He hits the second free throw. Jamal Murray has finally got his second bucket. Now James, with 20 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Good pass by Anthony Davis. Trying to tie it up now. And he's fouled. Anthony Davis in the second personal. They want to get back into this one. Well, they're already been losing it out. They can't lose it again. If they don't get it right, they're having going to have a loss of their time, and they may not be able to get it done. Jokic makes the first free throw. It's always they say the Joker, the Joker does own it all. He hits the second free throw for Jokic. Passing down under 20 seconds to go. Now James will have to try to make a coverage up here. Try to move it around. Austin Reeves decided to go with a different plan B. And count the three-pointer outside. They just did not really want to get this. Now the foul has been called on D'Angelo Russell. They're already been out there. He always made plan B. I don't know what Austin Reeves did. He had that close range out there. He would have been ending it. Now Jamal Murray at the free throw line shooting two with only 5.1 seconds. Hits the first free throw. And he makes the second free throw. They only have their chance. If they tie this game, they're going to go into overtime. Three seconds. James got to make it quick for the three. The lead is not going to happen. And that game is over. Denver Nuggets wins the game in game four. Their extension is now three to one. 57 to 54. Now to close it off, we send you down to Allie LaForce on the sideline. All right, Allie. Well, Nicola, coach has talked about the growth of your leadership. What spurred you to become more vocal? All right, Ali, thank you very much. And now we'll wrap it up for the NBA Western Conference Finals with amazing game by Tissett of the Buzzbeater. Thanks for watching. Son of Beast, along with me, Phone 4 and OJ, have a great evening in L.A. All right, Son of Beast, thank you very much. And right now, this game is now a 3-1 series for Denver Nuggets to have it all in. This range of this offense run, they were really saying that this was very, that tough. Between the range of this onside of the look, you can't just really say that they were very, that good. All they never notice is they really keep practicing that way. They wanted to do it really well, just for everybody else. They had nobody else to try to, like, keep them over if they wanted to get it done. So, what are you supposed to do? Are you going to just try to, like, get over this? 
whatever you may have called for it, you may never have the right choice. Here's what they did with the total statistic of a game. 44% for the field goals for the Lakers. Three-pointers and free throws along with the fast break points. 25%, 67%, and eight fast break points for Denver. Then 36 points in the paint was Los Angeles. Four second chance points for Los Angeles also. Bench points and assists was 15 and 20 for Denver. Offense and defense rebounds with 13, 24, and steals for three for Los Angeles Lakers. Four blocks for Denver Nuggets. Six turnovers and eight points off for Los Angeles. 16 fouls for Denver. Then it was five dunks for four for Los Angeles, along with the biggest lead in time of their possession. 12, 38, and eight biggest lead. They only received one timeout left for Denver Nuggets. But that was all. It did change. So yeah, I definitely have to say that this was a very tough one. But I think this must be it's a win or go home for Los Angeles. Well, their last chance might be the only way they can get it done. So, we'll have to see what it is. And bet you would. Now for three star players of the game. You start off with you, test you. Alright, thanks. Now for this time, it's time to settle it in. As right now, I'll give it a start up run and warn a welcome to Nikola Jokic with 10 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. He only had 14 performance run. Only 3 out of 6 field goals were made. And that was the hard one that he had ever attempted. Now to you, fan, for Son of Beats for number two. Number two is going to be very tough to call. I'm calling for Michael Porter Jr. He has 12 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. 18 performance run was the experience to how he was doing. 5 out of 7 field goals range was very good. Two three-pointers were made. And that was definitely the one that he was there, doing it just one time. So that was it for Michael Porter Jr. And now for number one. Number one, AD. That's for 16 points, 4 rebounds, and 1 steal. 3 dunks performed. And 16 performance run of his total effort for game 4. Got a good look. And his offense right now for 6 out of 9 field goals, he's the best. Anthony Davis is on a remarkable run. Hopefully he's looking for the next Defensive Player of the Year to show it how it is. Well, I guess there might be one way. Let's cross our fingers for good. <laughs> well, we'll see. And that will it do here for the NBA Western Conference of Game 4 of the Lakers and Nuggets. If you enjoyed this part of a game, you might want to like the other games here too. Like a Stanley Cup Conference Finals. And definitely, how in that case, reaction videos. I mean, you might like one of each, especially the reaction one. I hope you will like that one, too. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while. As the NBA playoffs of the East Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports Style. This is Fan along with Test 2. See you all again for the next part of a game on after Stanley Cup playoffs of games, games three and four. Until next time, good night, LA. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.